Short-term rental company Airbnb has launched a massive campaign to fight back against its critics. Cities across the country and here in Southern California have or are considering strict limits on the company. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with Airbnb's new plans to keep home sharing alive in the face of mounting criticism. Dave? Juan Lina, Airbnb, the short-term vacation rental king, is now estimated to be worth more than $25 billion. And last week, it defeated a move to severely restrict rentals in San Francisco, its hometown. Now, the company's asking Airbnb hosts around the country to help fight back against critics in what some are calling a political crusade. Jane Taguchi, who has lived in Silver Lake for more than two decades, says her close-knit neighborhood is being changed by an Airbnb rental house across the street and not changed for the better. It has definitely caused a very unpleasant situation in our neighborhood. I mean, it changes the character of an area. But for Scott and Sean Kelly, who rent out rooms in their La Crescenta home to Airbnb guests, the company has been an economic miracle, adding income that allows them to keep their beautiful home and maintain a middle-class lifestyle. It really has been a like a safety net for us. It's, again, been able to you know supplement our income, provide for you know part of our mortgage payment, you know, giving us the kind of latitude to to stay in a, in a larger house. The Kellys and the Taguchis are the human face on a bitter political battle being fought in cities across California and the country, from Anaheim and Santa Monica to San Francisco and L.A. Whether neighbors should be allowed to rent a room in their home or their entire home to Southland visitors who don't want to stay in a hotel, and what rules should govern the process. Prop F will stop the illegal repurposing of housing into permanent hotel rooms. Despite Danny Glover's support, Prop F, which would have regulated Airbnb rentals in San Francisco, was defeated by voters in that city last week after a fierce campaign which cost opponents about $9 million, nearly outspending supporters 20 to 1, and much of it provided by Airbnb and its supporters. The campaign against Prop F was largely orchestrated by Chris Lahane, whose background includes working as press secretary for former Vice President Al Gore, seen here in the 2000 presidential campaign. And he was an advisor to former President Bill Clinton as well. Now he's a top executive at Airbnb, and he described the defeat of Prop F as a victory for the middle class. We really had the opportunity to talk uh, about how home sharing serves as an economic lifeline for the middle class. In the wake of their political win, the company posted the Airbnb Community Compact, which it claims would ensure our community pays its fair share of hotel and tourist taxes, builds an open and transparent community, and provides information needed for informed decisions on home sharing policies, while promising responsible home sharing and preventing short-term rentals from impacting availability and the cost of affordable housing. It is not the answer to the problem. Veronica Perez works with a group called Keep Neighborhoods First, which has been outspoken in its criticism of Airbnb, charging its rentals have had a negative effect on some neighborhoods, while some entrepreneurs are snapping up rent control units and affordable housing in L.A. and other cities to rent out on Airbnb. She says the compact is meaningless. It speaks very much in um, it, averages and generalizations. This is going to be all about the details of enforcement. Well, this year, the L.A. City Council has gotten involved in the short-term rental issue. It has ordered a full report on the impact the rentals are having on neighborhoods in the city, as well as the economic impact. Estimated, by the way, by Airbnb to be nearly a billion dollars a year in L.A. alone. And Juan, the council expects to receive that report and could put together some proposed rules and restrictions by the end of the year. We'll see what happens, Dave. All right, thank you.